As a restaurateur, Ray Loy gets how hard it's been to manage a business amid the pandemic. The latest casualty, one of his childhood favorites, Goldstone Bakery and Restaurant. To hear that they're closing is just not, not very good news at all. He remembers weekly visits with mom as a six-year-old after a visit to the Woodward's toy department. We would have, you know, an old school uh, baked pork, ch pork chop on rice, which is a Hong Kong style cafe staple, and have Hong Kong milk tea. And uh, that was probably one of my fondest memories to have that uh, meal at Goldstone. Not much has changed over three decades at Goldstone, not the menu or even prices, but the number of patrons has shrunk dramatically, much like the rest of Chinatown. The ongoing struggle has forced the owners to sell and hopefully downsize. I'm very sad, you know, because this is a real landmark for the current gathering of all people in Chinatown. Richard Wong says the restaurant is still beloved as a community hub, stemming from its heydays in the late 1980s, when this was the spot for a new wave of Hong Kong immigrants and their families. It reflects the economy in Chinatown is deteriorating to the level that even such of a popular place cannot survive. So that is a serious matter. Wong is worried the pandemic is the last nail in the coffin, a shared concern for many of the businesses in the area. He believes more development is the solution to attract consumers with spending power, but there are concerns over affordability. In the meantime, community groups are pleading for emergency measures. How do we remove barriers um, to accessing Chinatown? And what that means is um, in terms of uh, parking, uh, foot traffic, uh, how do people make people feel safe? Removing fees, increasing patrols, and emergency funding are all part of the group's request to all three levels of government. Support, they say, that's critical to a neighborhood on the brink. Hopefully the government steps in to help them because this pandemic might be a last blow to them. And if they don't receive any help, they might be gone forever. The hope is Goldstone may one day reopen, but like Chinatown, its future remains uncertain. Leanne Young, CBC News, Vancouver. Yeah, good report. I just I don't think uh, a lot of people necessarily realize how, how desperate uh, the situation is there. It is. And, you know, full disclosure, that place is a special place in my heart. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I grew up going there very often with my family, uh, even through university. I went and had breakfast there almost every day before class with my mom. And it was 10 bucks and you could have a bowl of noodles two egg sausages plus a bun and a milk tea for under 10 bucks so there's that affordability factor there of course right. and it was just a community hub like uh, so many of the people that i spoke to says so you know it's it's an important spot for the community and i hope that one day they'll reopen but the fate of all of chinatown is something that we should be watching all right sad to see that one go for mm -hmm. sure